Welcome back everybody to another Pharmacy Chalk Talk. In today's video we're going to learn how to calculate creatinine clearance. So here is the case scenario. A 58 year old, 5 foot, 158 pound female patient needs a drug dose according to her renal function. And it looks like she has a serum creatinine of 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. What is her creatinine clearance? And before we begin I'm just going to mention that there's several different equations and ways we can calculate a patient's creatinine clearance. I'm just showing you one today. It can be practice site specific, it can be situation specific, and then there's different rules that are applied to these equations as well. I'm going to show you one set of rules, but some practice sites have different weight cutoffs, they have different rounding rules, so just keep that in mind that this is just one example I'm showing you here to kind of give you an idea of how one could calculate creatinine clearance. So today the equation we're going to use is called the Cockroft Galt and that equation looks like this. One forty minus age times ideal body weight over seventy two times serum creatinine, and if they're female, we have to multiply that by a factor of point eight five to adjust it. And then the specific rule we're going to apply in this scenario is as follows. using the total body weight if it is less than the ideal body weight, or using an adjusted body weight if the total body weight is greater than 30% the ideal body weight. Otherwise, we use the ideal body weight in the equation. So let's go ahead and figure out what the ideal body weight is for this patient in this scenario and see which rule we're going to follow. So you can take a look at my other video on how to calculate ideal body weight and adjusted body weight if you need some background on how to do these calculations. So the ideal body weight equation for a female is 45.5 plus 2.3 multiplied by her height in inches minus 60. So let's go ahead and plug that in and solve. And her height in inches would be 12 times 5 feet, which is 60 inches, so that makes our calculations a little bit easier. Where this patient's ideal body weight is 45.5 kilograms. Now let's figure out what the total body weight is. And we need to convert it into kilograms to do the comparison. And as we can see, the total body weight is 71.8 kilograms, so quite a bit higher than the ideal body weight. Now, just eyeballing it, we can tell that it is 30% higher. However, let's look at the official equation, how we would figure out if the patient's total body weight is more than 30% higher than their ideal body weight to know if we need to use the adjusted body weight according to the rule. In order to do this calculation, we want to know if it's greater than 30% higher than ideal body weight. So ideal body weight is kind of going to be our denominator in this equation. And then the difference is going to be the numerator. And it'll look like this. So again, difference in the numerator. And the base of our equation is the ideal body weight because we want to know if the total body weight is 30% higher. And if you do this math, you get 57.8% higher. So it is indeed greater than 30% higher than ideal body weight. So we need to use the adjusted body weight in this creatinine clearance equation. So let's calculate adjusted body weight. And as we saw in my other video, it's an adjustment to the patient's ideal body weight because their total body weight is substantially higher than their ideal body weight of about 40%. Plugging in the numbers we get 57.8 an adjusted body weight of 56.0 kilograms. So let's go back to our creatinine clearance equation and know that we're going to be using adjusted body weight 
in this specific scenario, plug in our numbers and solve. Making special note that we have put in the patient's age of 58, we've used adjusted body weight, we've used the serum creatinine, which is given in the case scenario, and we multiplied it by 0.85 because this is a female. And that gives us a creatinine clearance of 45.2 mils per minute. So I hope this gives you a good idea of how we could calculate a creatinine clearance. Again, there's different equations that can be used. There's different online calculators you can use, but this is one of the ways we can do it by hand. And it depends on the drug and the dosing scenario on how we would calculate creatinine clearance and how we would apply the answer such as the answer we got here, if we would need to do dose reductions or other things like that. Thank you for your attention.